Batgirl issue 8, Hope Larson writing and Chris Wildgoose on art. This is the second part of the Son of Penguin arc and it was another fun one. It had their their date which we seen them go on. Although she, she's obviously dubious because he runs this, this empire that's making these apps and stuff. But she's on a date and she feels conflicted and she does kiss him which I'm not going to lie, after the, the last Nightwing issue where Dick's got a girlfriend and I'm just like, oh, come on, you guys, come on. You, you're meant for each other, stop it's, it. It's it's her coping mechanism, isn't it? She's but, throwing herself at someone else. True, but it's especially, it's more worse here than it was with Nightwing and Sean, because Sean's actually seems quite nice. <laughs> Whereas here... You're just waiting for his villainous turn. Which, which as it happens, is the end of the issue. We, we well, see yeah. that he's, he's a villain. So, But even when, when this moment happens, yeah. you're just waiting for it. Yeah, he's, just, he's such a slimy posh pretty boy it just it, and he's the son of penguin and he's the son of penguin just all of it hurts so a, a big part of this year is him explaining to her his sort of backstory he could be lying about some of it but he it seems that as as he recounts it uh his mother was a waitress who worked at the iceberg lounge and penguin just kind of shipped her off when he found out she was pregnant and gave her money and that was that was the whole relationship he never met him until he was an adult i buy it yeah so so that's that but the the rest of the issue, she she's sort of still spying on him, but she goes to uh, another hipster bar that's got a theme. It's a laundrette. So strange, and I don't get it. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like going to the odd bar, but this is just a weird bar. It's like a wall of washing machines up up in the wall. And and they're debating: can you actually do your laundry here? And no one seems quite sure. It's weird. We also there's also seen before this actually we see Barbara's doing like her volunteer stuff where she's helping like kids hack. Like, uh, yeah, she's a, she's in the library because yeah, she, that's that's what her her course is. Yeah, yeah, but she she's doing like a volunteer thing where she's helping kids who want to get into like computers and hacking. Uh, yeah. What was the phrase she uses? Uh, ethical. Ethical. Ethical, ethical hacking. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're not we're not hacking to break laws and. Oh, uh, that's a real thing. I know it is, but I just I love that phrase, ethical hacking. They they typically make their money from uh, hacking web like legit websites and then telling them for rewards. How, yeah, how how you how you do it? Yeah, yeah. So they can, pa- they can patch, patch the holes. It, yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's all fair. Uh, I I just it feels like a weird thing to be teaching kids. I guess. I don't know. I think it's something that I've noticed over the last few years it, in in reality. Like they're they're, uh, they're pushing. It, it probably coding. is. It's just it's just from when I was like that age the thought of like anyone telling me oh do you want to take an ethical hacking course but that sets up one of the ideas one of the one of the kids gets a lift and we don't actually realize at the time we think it's just you know maybe a parent's friend or something yeah because she says oh she's your walk home yeah Uh, but then later on when when she's leaving the the nightclub or when one of the other girls is leaving the nightclub she has this walk home she's got an app to get someone to come and escort her home and she goes outside to sort of check it and uh, the, the the girl who's like taking taking her home like attacks this mugger and like beats the crap out of him like with extreme force and Batgirl like oh wait a minute I need to deal with this and she goes over and checks it and it's when the the, the walk home like pulls off her, her hood or whatever and there's that great page where it's like Batgirl's just thinking about who it is because she's like I recognise her and it's like all it's all these like mug shots of all the different female villains that we've seen either in this book or just in general you know, Catwoman's there uh, the schoolgirl one from the last arc is there yeah you got ivy in there there's all there's lots of female dc villains and it's like wait a minute take the glasses do some yeah. funkier here ah it's magpie <laughs> yeah that's cool yeah so that's another one of the the same apps and the 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 she she she, she, she fights her and uh, wins and uh, as you expect and there's a fun little fight sequence and it hits the news and uh son of penguin has to what's his name elliot what's he ethan ethan or ethan? elliot Ethan. Ethan. I think it's Ethan. And he's like, oh, no, trust, rest assured, since this has happened, we are having a more thorough vetting process to, you know, rule out extreme people and make sure that everyone who's taking part in the program is uh, suitable and so on. But then it's this last this, this, this little page where he goes in and he's like, yeah, this is just a, a prototype for the main the main game, which is coming up. And the next step is taking out Batgirl and he's like proper villainous. And it's like, you know, he may, have yeah. a, he may as well have a moustache to twirl. You might as well. And then it says, uh, next, the the thing for the next issues is next, Cobblepot 2.0. Oofed. Yeah. Also, I laughed so hard as, so when she's fighting Magpie and she gets a, a low rating on it, because 
Magpie's oh, yeah. like legitimately trying to just make money here. Yeah, the person the person who was getting escorted home, like she gives her a low rate. It's kind of, it's kind of like Uber is essentially the, yeah. the idea. She gives her a three stars. She's like, no, what about my five star rating? And then Batgirl <laughs> knocks her out goes, there's your five stars. And then it's got the little stars spinning above her head. Very classic cartoony. And it actually has five stars there. I don't know why. But for some reason, I I expect the word bitch at the end of that sentence. There's yeah, they, 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 sub- <laughs> they substitute in with jerk, but yeah, it, it, yeah, they're playing nice. Like, I, yeah. I get it. But just uh, my, my adult head just jumped to the word bitch being at the end of that sentence. Uh, that was a fun issue. I'm enjoying this uh, Son of Penguin arc. I agree. I had a few little issues with the art in this one. It was um. Most of it's great, but uh, there was a fair few bits, especially during the fight scene, where I felt they were just kind of having to rush through it because they were hiding the backgrounds. They just went with the pop art, bold colors. Hmm. And I'm not sure it felt like a stylistic choice to me. A lot of it felt like, oh, well, well hang on, we he hasn't got time to put in all the backgrounds like they normally do. See, you say that, but a lot of Albuquerque stuff in the first arc had plain white backgrounds and stuff. That was kind of a... Yeah, thematic thing. but it, it's it's there's not plain white. It's that I, I bought it when it was the big splash page because it was a big focus in on the on that moment. But it's the smaller ones when they're fighting with Magpie that a lot of them just cut to the colors, and it feels very very pop art in the background. And I'm I don't just, know. I'm looking. Ah, uh, yes, I see. I think the one that really stands out to me is the one where the gun actually fires, and you see it hit behind her, and it's like. And it really, it kind of hits an edge of a wall, but then there's all this pop art, and I, I didn't really get it. Yeah, it, it kind of the, the the few pages before that, it's mostly like just sort of these weird backgrounds that aren't actual what's there. But then it's when you have the occasional one that does have something yeah. there, it makes it stand out more as a as a weird choice instead of something that they were going for. Honestly, that panel you're talking about with the gunfire is the worst one because it feels weird because there's actually a bit of a wall in the pavement. Whereas the two below that, where it's like her reacting and the punch, it feels yeah. like it is stylized and it is meant to be like that. It feels like it's, oh, you were getting that background because it's like doing the impact of the hit. I, I get that. And that one, those are less of an issue. That one with the gunshot is definitely like the, a bigger culprit. But it was the sort of thing that once I'd noticed it, and then I was noticed how how it was flicking between having backgrounds and having not. It didn't feel like there was a lot of consistency for some of them. The one, the ones with the kicks in the previous page are a little bit. I, I think the idea is that when they're so deep in a moment, it's like the, the, the world's like you know they're not no, noticing the world around them, and I think that's the the gist of it. That one with the gunshot though does feel really weird. Uh, the two below that though, with the punching and the the actual like uh, you know the wham effect. And, and I it, can allow those, but then if you go to the final page. It's the second to last panel. You have Son of Penguin just sat at the computer with a pop art background behind him. And it it, it was another mm. one where it's like, okay, I don't get it now. Because like you say, those other ones are for the big action moments. And I'm, yeah. I can kind of buy it. But then you have it here and it feels like they're just being a bit lazy. I'll be honest, that, that Penguin one's a bit weird. I don't know how to explain that one. At the same time, though, it feels kind of like weird. Like, why that panel? If, if, it is, uh, if it is a case of we need to cut time, why... That's Why that, random but, yeah, but there's a few when bad girls in the bar as well. Like when they're just talking, there's a couple of random ones that just have that pop art background there. Oh, you're right. There is one or two. It's not much. It's just one or two. Oh, let me let me look at these specifically. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Hold on. <laughs> like, like you say, because the action ones where they are so caught up into it, like I I do buy that as a legitimate explanation. Like I would get it if it's a moment where. They, they learn something shocking or something, but that one's not... But it's the one after they learn it, isn't it? With the... with the In the bar. Because it's where they have... um, they, oh, What's her name? Talking about the, the fertility clinic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's just Barbara's side that's like that. It's weird. I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't explain it. That's what makes it stick out more when there's these odd ones that don't feel like they connect to it. That that's what makes me feel like it's a criticism rather than just a stylistic choice. It's at not the, the end t- of the world. At the same time, though, no, I don't. Like, I f- I feel like you wouldn't do that if it, if it was a case of oh we're running out of time we have to because it doesn't make sense to me why how random it is. Like why is it one panel in the bar scene, one panel in the last page? You'd think it would all be towards the end, or you think it would be all designated to one scene. You'd think, but there's a lot of panels that just have blank backgrounds as well. 
there's there's another i mean the one next to that one in the bar has a, a plain background um there's, there's quite a few scattered throughout that it feels like that he didn't have time to draw all the backgrounds he drew all the primary stuff first and didn't go in and fill in a lot of the backgrounds and he was just went okay this one can get away with this color this one can get away with this dotty one hmm i'm not entirely sure i don't know it's weird I'll be honest with you, there wasn't sticking out to me that much as I was reading that. It was one of those things that it wasn't at first, but once I noticed it, it was bothering mm. me. Honestly, I think the one with the gunfire is the, the the weird one that I think actually does feel off. Yeah. I don't think the other ones feel that bad, like because it is just a close-up of a head, and it's like, well, it doesn't really matter what's behind them. It, it doesn't matter, much. but it was a case of once I'd noticed it, it, those other ones bothered me a little bit. I'd almost rather were just blank, to be honest. That's. I think that's what it is. It's because it's the the stuff that pops out, I, I, my eyes are drawn to it, so you notice it more. Hmm. Which is, I don't know, it feels strange. I'll be curious to see if there's some of that in the next issue, because I feel like if it keeps going for issues, it probably is a stylistic choice. I just don't quite understand it. Yeah, I don't either. Like, like you said, your, your explanation for the ones in the fight scenes was good, and I'm willing to accept that as, as a primary reason. But it doesn't explain some of these other ones. We'll see if we'll let's keep an eye out for it the next issue, and we'll see if it keeps yeah. happening. Because I, I feel like if it keeps happening issue to issue, I don't think it's a I'm running out of time thing. If it's constantly, it feels like it would be more yeah. likely to be. No, for some reason this is the style they're going yeah, for. Yeah, okay. And I don't know. I don't. I can't explain it. Do, do any viewers? Do you have any reasons as to why that might be there on the other panels? If, if you do, please let us know. It's the placement that's weird. Like, if, it, if it's a moment where they just realise something, or if it's a moment where, I don't know, they get some heavy news or something like that. Like, I can buy a reaction shot like that, having the whole background fades away and it's just the face. And Yeah. But some of the ones they've picked here feel really weird. So They do. They do feel strange. Like, you would use it to punctuate, and this doesn't feel like it's punctuating the right frames. I know. And then in the action one with the gunshot, it just made the whole thing feel murky. Regardless of that, I did quite enjoy the issue. So. I did as well. I'm complaining about this little thing, but overall, I thought like the actual, the art that was there, all the all the primary focus stuff was great. Like I loved it. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think it's also again building like bad girls, like immediate community and the sort of things she'll yeah. be up to and all, all that stuff. So, and it's still taking shots at the hipsters, so we can appreciate that. Oh, I can always appreciate that. Uh, let's let's see what uh, Matt Matt said about it, shall we? Uh, starting to get a crush on Barbara, so Pete, watch out. Have I... Have, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is this maybe tying into my Batman bias? I, I think he's just saying that you're you're so keen on, on Babs being with, with Dick that it's like you, you can't have that right. in the way. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Matt, but I'm not worried. Uh <laughs> Ethan's origin isn't what I thought it would be. The art was great, especially in the opening scene. <laughs> Shame he's not here to argue this, uh, this background. Well, no, the opening scene, I think, was very good. Uh, the middle part in the, in the bar threw me for a loop, but the bar theme was funny. I don't like seeing her kiss Ethan a week after we saw Dick's relations with Sean unfold. It's weird. Ah, mostly hitting the key. I, I do think, actually, on that, it's worth noting that when we had... Um, Barbara called Dick in the last issue of this. Mm. It felt like it, they mentioned that they hadn't spoken in a while. Mm. So I do think the, the the timings of these are a bit murky. I think that the the Dick and Sean stuff happens after this. Okay. Maybe. Or the other way around. Maybe that this happens a while after that, and they don't speak again now, until fr- from when that was to when. Well, it makes sense this isn't the same time because we know that the Batgirl and Birds of Prey issue is happening at the same time as the Nightwing stuff, roughly. Oh, is it? Yes, because there was, in that she checks his his relationship status on Facebook. Well, it's not called Facebook, but whatever their fake version was. And it says he's in a relationship. So that lines it up with that time period. See, I haven't been been keeping up with that. So if she's with the Birds in Gotham at the Clock Tower, she's not doing this stuff at the same time. Okay, no, that's solid. So, I feel like we're getting close to a point where we could actually map out a lot of this timeline stuff. I don't want to. There's, there's too much. Maybe one day I'll just get bored and do it. It's too much. We're going to have one of those murder walls with all the, the string and the pins and this goes to here and that goes to there. and I'd be down for that. <laughs>